going on? Um, just the KO corner. It's a little late this week. A lot of it going on with the, um, with the fam. But um, where do I start? Saturday's festivities. Um, Beltron fight. Of course, Terrence Crawford fight and <laughs> the fight everyone's still talking about. Um, the derail debacle. Um, yeah. Well, first off, we'll start off with the. Um, well, we, uh, Javante fought too. Um, I can't forget about him. Javante looked good. I thought he was going to get the dude out of here earlier, but he still looked good. He, you could definitely see the Floyd influence. Laying off the back foot, laying cocked back. Um, how he lances the right hand. Um, I forgot what belt he got, but he looked good. You know, um, he said um, the weight, the, the, the not making weight didn't affect him at all. Um, like I said, good punching, and he's, he's look good. He's not just in there brawling anymore, going for the blowout. He's actually in there um, throwing good punches. Um, props to TMT and Javante. Um, next, I want the Beltran fight. As they said, Beltran's one of the fighters who gets better with age. Um, I totally missed the hook. I turned my head for one second and missed the brutal hook. I've only seen the replays, but I want to actually see it in live motion. Uh, the hook was brutal, man. He just put knocked dude out and had to take him out on the stretcher. I've always been a fan. He's always he's always been a tough dude, man. I, I love to watch him fight. And um he's getting better. As they say, with age, man, which is a good thing for boxing. And of course he's gonna be back on TV again. And this time he's probably gonna have a top he's gonna have a good named opponent. Um next, Terrence Crawford handle business I want I want to see him brutally KO Diaz Diaz in my opinion is a bitch he's playing to what his trainers agenda is he has white trainers and they had him go out there in the all lives matter shirt they was pushing that bullshit and he actually succumbed to it being a minority um and then they agree, uh, the, the announcers were praising that bullshit but um whatever once, once, I, once I saw that I just totally wrote him off and I wanted to I'm a T. Crawford fan anyways, but I want to see Terrence Crawford just brutally KO him. You know, but um, Terrence put on a clinic. He did the work. Looked good. T. Crawford, there's nothing I can say about that man. Um, He's bad. <laughs> he's a true martial artist. You know, the way he gets low punches. Man, oh, true martial artist. Um, Yeah, nothing I can say about T. Crawford. He's one of the best on the planet. You know, underrated as great as he is, one of the best on the planet. Uh, um, yeah. Next, the the real fight. This is the one I, of course, want to talk about the most because, as shout out to Stoog's nose and my boy Ravi, um, the the real thing is personal with us. Uh, we've actually met the real, seen him around all the time, and one of my friends, not was going to name nameless, has gotten to it with Leon Lawson. His um, uncle, who filed the um, fighter, and he told me years ago he was a bitch. He kept saying he was arrogant. He was a bitch. A lot of fighters in the gym didn't like him or got into it with him when he brought his fighter to spar. His son, I think it was, um, to spar, and a lot of fighters got into it with him and didn't want him to come back to the gym. And one of the older crocs. Um, my friend has complained about it for years. Um, and I actually seen what he's complaining about now, nah, man. The reactions were just crazy all across the board. First, I'm going to get on the fight. I originally, did, I originally came in at round four. I thought the real was fighting this Friday. I originally came in around four and saw four on up. Then I saw the actual replay. When I came in, people were like, yeah, the real lost the first three rounds. You know, first two or three rounds. I forgot what people were telling me. And when I watched the replay... <sighs> Yeah, this, this is here. It is with Darrell, man. He was basically fighting our talent and athleticism before. His defense has always been shit, but we just didn't know because he was just so athletic and so great at getting out the way. Um, he the mistakes he makes are just ridiculous. He keeps his hands down even when in exchanges, even when on the rope. He keep on the ropes. He keeps his hands down and pulls back. You can only pull back once. You know, and he keeps his hands. Down. It's just, oh man! Every fight I've said the last three fights, 
God is my witness and the KO corner. I've texted him. I said, Darrell's going to get dropped. I've said in the last three fights, and look what happened. He can't, he doesn't have the, the quickness anymore from years of inactivity, not training. And I don't think, to be honest with you, I don't think his heart is in it. Um, I don't think he wants to box anymore, to be 100 with you. But he kind of has to. Even after the Super 6, I just seen it in his face, in his eyes. It was just like, even when he was talking about coming back. It was just like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back. It was like no burn or anything like that and no fire. He wasn't in the cameras. Like fighters who really want to come back and who have problems, even when Andre Ward was having his problems with his promotion. You see Andre Ward interviews damn near every week. Andre Ward was always talking about something and complaining about not being active and how he planned on staying sharp. You didn't saw none of that with Darrell. Like Darrell just disappeared for like eight, nine months, even a year. Nobody would hear anything from him. You would type in stuff, you didn't you couldn't find anything on the rail. You never had to worry about that with guys like Andre Ward, even when James Tony was suspended, and guys who are in situations where they can't fight. They're always running their mouth, talking about how they can't fight and this and that. And they're always doing interviews, you always see him at fights and this and that, and just constantly running their mouth. And you always see him in the gym warming up, you know. Even with Chad Dawson, you know, was a, was going through his issue and contemplating coming back he was always in I always saw him in the gym with other people you know never saw that with the real I just have a feeling in my heart he doesn't really want to box um saw the fight saw him get pressure and it was just seen him get hit with stupid shit super six the real wouldn't have gotten hit by even not even going that far back I'll say about two years ago I think it was when he fought Nick Brinson I don't think he would have got hit with it then, you know. With that Nick Brinson fight, he was actually every blue moon he gets motivated for a fight. You know, I saw him with the Nick Brinson fight. He was crisp and putting his punches together, throwing beautiful shots and stuff like that, and trying to get the guy out of here. I just don't see it in him anymore. It's just like he was giving away rounds, man, and it was not like he was giving away; he was losing them. And he was trying to box. Well, he came back after he came back later on in the fight, but all the judges, one judge had a draw, and all the other judges still had my man winning. And you should know in the middle of exchange to keep your damn hands up, as my other boy said. In my opinion, he's a great actor. He he knew he was going to get hit, and he capitalized off of that. You know, those were legit shots though, but he took them to get out of the fight. That's just my opinion. I seen it before at the Abraham fight. You know, um I seen people who, who met Dre before say the same thing. They say him and his brother night and day as far as heart goes. You know, I, everybody who gets in the ring has heart. Let's let's erase that, but the will to want to continue, I'll say that. I don't think Dre has it. I think he uses that as he used that as an out. He knew the shot was coming. You know. And he allowed us to come in and get hit so like somebody said it should have been a no contest and forced Dre to fight him again you know it shouldn't have just been because if you went to the scorecards Dre would have lost but the dude did hit him early in the fight after the bill so give him a no contest and then after the fight my man goes over to him everybody the whole world saw it like he's about to shake his hand even after Dre hugged him everything was cool above corners shook hands Goes over to him and gives him a, a hook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what my boy told me about years ago. He said he's a foul dude. And I've seen it. And My thing is, if you're going to do all that, do all that after the fight. Not after everything is calmed down. Because you can make that an excuse after the fight. Tensions were high. Teams, you were brawling. Blase split. But you can't just go after after all the commotions calm. Everybody shook hands and hugged. And go over there and hit him, man. Come on, man. You can't do that. He is going to probably get suspended for, for indefinitely. If not three to five years. Most people say indefin indefinitely. He has a um, warrant put out. Stoogs told me it's a, um, two warrants put out. Second degree and first degree battery or something like that. And he's basically done. He's on the run still, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. But um, Yeah, that's my take on things, man. But Darrell knew to keep his damn hands up. You know, come on, man. You know what happened with you and Abraham, man. 
you know and even if he let's just say he didn't know that shows your fucking defense is shit man he's gonna have to get with a trainer that builds him from the ground up defensively whether it's Floyd Sr. or somebody else uh, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to change his game get with Emmanuel Stewart or somebody uh, type of guy who could just train re rebuild you as he did with Klitschko and as he did with Lennox Lewis Lennox Lewis fighters who have who don't have chins like that he rebuilds them teaches you just how to keep stay up shoot off the back foot keep your hands up keep your chin behind your knee as, as Emmanuel said at the gym I've heard him say it before uh, he's gonna have to give somebody else man well he's gonna have to now shit cause his brother's done but um, he needs to get with a defensive trainer man that's my take on it man I'm not about to um, hold y'all up anymore Kell Brook Errol Spence this Saturday beautiful fight I love them both do want to see Spence bring it back home I haven't made a prediction yet I'll let y'all make it signing out